Bushcraft 412 here, and I wanted to do a video on my full everyday carry items. I know this looks like a lot, but there are a couple things here I don't carry every single day. Um, let's start out with my newest thing I have, this belt. I picked this belt up. It's made by Travelon. It's uh, basically a travel belt. It has the uh, plastic buckle instead of a metal for going through like airports and things like that. Um, I do go through a lot of metal detectors at work, and I do have to take off my leather belt a lot. Um, I got this belt in particular, and it might not show up the best on this camera. I'm sorry, Ooh, sorry about that. But it has a zippered lining to it where you can put items. Um, it's designed for money. You know, a folded over bill will fit in there. But I want to use this actually to store things like fishing hooks, fishing line, paracord, and items like that for when I'm backpacking and camping and and whatnot. I thought it was a really neat idea, and I'm going to do a full review on this shortly. Uh, but I just thought it was a neat thing, and I'm wearing this every day now because it's actually a pretty decent belt, and it was fairly cheap, and I don't have anything in it right now, but another weekend or two, and it will. So that out of the way, let's get to the next easy item to get out of here. Cell phone. I have my Droid X, which I'm filming on, but uh, I also carry a work cell phone, and this one's an AT&T cell phone. A little cheapo. But it's nice always having a second one because, especially when it's a different carrier, because if your phone's not working somewhere, there's always a chance your work cell might. Next, I will go to the wallet. I bought the Maxpedition wallet. Um, I forgot exactly which one it is, but I bought it. I was sick and tired of leather wallets. They're just, you know, I've never been happy. I wanted something nylon that, if it got wet, wouldn't be such a hassle. Uh, so I went with this. I wasn't a big fan of it at first because it is kind of a long wallet and it doesn't fit in pockets very well. But I've actually grown to really like this wallet just because of the capabilities it has for holding items. Um, I took them out because I can't do this one-handed very good. But in some of the little pouches, uh, this is a little pouch I have that has fishing line. Uh, it's about 15 foot of regular like 8-pound test and about 15 foot of uh, the braided nylon ice fishing line. I just wound it up in here and it sits in the wall and I don't notice it's there. Um, nice little thing to have. You never know when you'll need a little bit of string or anything like that. Especially if camping, hiking, you know, you forget it's there. It's nice to have. Um, next item, sits in with my credit cards, is a little Fresnel lens. Um, I got it in a little bit of plastic too so it doesn't get scraped up. I got these on eBay I think for like 5 for like $2. I keep it in there. It's nice to have if I, you know, am just looking at something or, you know, for normal everyday use. But then on top of that, it, it's something I can start fires with out in the woods, um, signaling, things like that. Great little item. Put it right in with your credit cards. Why not? Uh, always keep a couple band-aids. I guess I'm accident prone. Uh, so I always keep a couple band-aids in my wallet. And the wallet's a nice wallet. It holds a lot. Um... Get that out of the way. Always got a couple of bucks in there. You never know when you're going to need it. I know people are all, don't carry much cash nowadays, but once there comes that time when the credit machine stop working or something happens, you know, you always want to have a little cash on you. Uh, next, self-defense. The Cold Steel Shark Pen. This is a, it's a reinforced plastic, um, very hard point. And this is actually a working marker as well. It's like a Sharpie marker. Um, my only complaint about it is I did break the uh, the pocket clip. That was pretty cheap. But other than that, this thing is, you know, completely unbreakable. Great little item for self-defense as an impact tool. I keep this thing in my pocket every day because I do have a bit of a dangerous job where I, I deal with the public and I deal with the public in urban and rural areas. Great little item to have just in case because I'm really not allowed to carry any any weapons at work. And this does is a sharpie. So I mean, in the end, it's a sharpie. Um, next, I do carry a Kershaw Chill. This is my everyday carry probably about half the time. I do switch up my knives just to give them a rest. Love the knife. Um, really thin. Don't even notice it's in the pocket. Big fan of the knife. I do have another review on it if you want to check it out. It's like a really cheap knife. Great everyday carry. Let's see now. Next, regular pen. Always carry one. It's mightier than the sword. I always have it in my pocket at all times. Uh, next, 
this is the last of my 100% everyday carry items. I did a full review on this, my keychain, before. I've got a couple items on here. The biggest is the uh, Gerber Shortcut. Great little thing. It's got scissors instead of pliers, which I like because, you know, I am in an office about half the time. So I do like having the scissors. Um, it's got a blade, uh, screwdrivers, you know, a little file. Great item. I have a little photon light. Very bright. I keep that because I do end up having to go up some uh, dark stairwells from time to time at night. Uh, especially in the cities. And you can't see where you're going. No one leaves their lights on. It's nice to have. Uh, plus in a tactical situation, if you do shine this in someone's eyes, um, when they're close up, it is going to blind them enough where you can escape. Nice little item. It's great to have, especially on a day hike or something like that. If I ever get... You know, I'm coming out and it's getting dark. I would I'd just be thrilled to have this on me. And it's on me every single day. Little Pico bar. I'm, you know, I've always been a person who pried with my knife a lot and have a lot of knives with bent tips. Not anymore. Five bucks at County Com. Wrapped it with some paracord and tied it onto my keychain. Great little item. Won't go without it now. Um, little pocket compass. These are zipper pulls. And I have a couple of these on a couple of my coats. Uh, but I also have this one on my keychain. Just a nice little item. It's reasonably accurate. Uh, I've tested it with some real compasses, and it does do pretty decent. So it's a nice and everyday thing to have. And the last little thing on here is... Where is it? The P38 can opener. Got it taped down so it doesn't cut up my pocket. Great to have in case you ever just have a can of something you want to eat or... You know, whatever. Great item to have. Uh, these are things I don't care. These I actually keep these in my car. And I put them on probably about half the time, depending on where I'm going or what I'm doing. Uh, I do travel a lot for work, so I never know where I'm going to end up in a given day. And I like to have these in my car. I keep them in my little door panel so that I know where they are. And I can use them whenever I want them. Just, this one I just throw in my pocket, or this one I just Velcro onto my belt. This is the... Uh, personal carry case from County Com. Uh, very neat little item. We'll go over this first. This is pretty easy. Basically it's a little keychain kind of thing. I have some re-rolled duct tape. Uh, I put it on a pen, rolled it up, a little paracord through it, keep it on here. Gives me 15-20 feet of duct tape. Duct tape is about the greatest thing on earth when you're out in the woods or your car breaks down or you just need it for something, a bandage, whatever. It's nice to have a couple feet. And I made a smaller one that's actually half the size. And I cut the duct tape in half. But for this one, because it's not something I carry every day, I don't need a tiny, tiny one. This is a split pea lighter. These are from uh, County Tom. Um, but there's also some knockoffs a few other websites have. Um, there's a little O-ring in here, so it never dries out like the Zippos. I've had this for about a month and a half, two months. I'm still on the original lighter fluid. Great little thing. This one was 10 bucks from County Com. But you can get them on eBay and a couple other knockoff sites for maybe 4 or 5 bucks. They call them split pea lighters or keychain lighters. You can find them all over. Uh, I got another little Swiss Tech tool, a little folding, a um, pair of pliers, a little backup knife, just a $2 flea market knife. I think Maxim makes it. Just a backup. Sharpie. Great for signaling, keeping track of your trail if you're out in the woods. Or, you know, hey, if I'm, you know, doing my job, sometimes I just need a marker or something like that. Great to have on the keychain. Uh, whistle. Great for signaling if I'm in trouble at work. I do have someone who's giving me a hard time. I do have a whistle. It's a good kind of scare tactic for people. They hear a whistle. They just get nervous. No one knows what's, what's going on. Um, plus, it draws attention to you. And out in the woods, if you do get lost or... Or something like that. It's great to have a whistle on you. So I do throw this in my pocket every time I hike. Uh, because it does have the fire and signaling devices on it. This is probably what I carry the least. Uh, this is more for hiking, backpacking. Um, every once in a while I'll wear it if I know I'm really going far. You know, on a longer trip or something like that. Because um, this is mostly kind of wilderness items. Um, first I do have a nicer tactical light. Well it's not expensive. Very bright. Uh, this is eBay, about two dollars from Hong Kong. It's uh, I just did a search on tactical lights and this came up, and it's just a knockoff. It's got the nice crown edge for for self defense. Uses an impact tool. 
Um, it's an all aluminum. All aluminum um, LED light, very bright. Push button on the bottom. Takes one AAA. Don't know how long it's going to last, but uh, the brand name on it, I don't know if you can see this. The Droid X camera is not the greatest, but it says uh, Zai Hang. Uh, but I just did a search on eBay for tactical light, and this is like $2.99 shipped. So I bought like five of them. If they don't last, oh well. Oh, I got four more. Um, flint and steel. We don't need to talk about that. Another little light. I like having tons of little lights. It's just me. Super glue. Second best invention aside from duct tape. Um, this will, you can put this on cuts or wounds. You can fix your car with it. You can fix your gear. You can, if you have to sew something, you can use this to reinforce the stitches. Waterproof. You have a tarp that's ripped or leaking or anything. Super glue can bail you out with so much. I get these at the dollar store. Love them. I try to keep them in my car. I keep them in, you know, my backpacks. Nail clippers. You never know when you're going to catch a nail on something, rip a nail, or, or anything like that. It's good to have a set of nail clippers. Plus, they're good for cutting fishing line and things like that. Good little item to have. Um, this is a little pocket fishing kit I put together. It's a little too thick to go on. I had it in my wallet originally, but it's a little too thick, and it was bending the wallet. Um, this is basically just a couple of fishing hooks. Um, and a piece of that jammed into a piece of cardboard. I have a couple different lines one longer one and then a couple smaller ones for like trout and Then I wrapped around the cardboard a whole bunch of fishing line uh, First I wrapped maybe 30 foot of 8 pound test and then maybe another 20 foot of the braided ice fishing line um, Nature will provide the rod you can use floats like pieces of wood and and bark and things like that will make great float. This is everything I need to fish right here. So, small little item. I keep it in there. Good to have whenever I'm hiking. And oh, that's it. A couple more Fresno lenses. I have a couple extras. You know, I haven't experimented with trying doubling them up or anything like that. But as for making fire, we'll see. I might make a video on that down the line once summer hits. And that's it. Everyday carry. Like I said, I don't carry all of it, but I do carry a lot of it. On most of it on a daily basis, and it's got me out of a lot of jams. Uh, if you have any suggestions or any questions or comments, feel free to leave them.